Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. All on earth with angels say, Alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high. Alleluia. Sing ye heavens and earth reply. Alleluia. Lives again our glorious King. Alleluia. Where o'er death is now thy sting. Alleluia. Once he died our souls to save. Alleluia. Where thy victory o'er the grave. Alleluia. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, Human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up, and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles, and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. 
Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times with praise ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord who will hear the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. Every spirit crushed, God will save, will be ransom for their lives will be safe shelter for their fears and will hear the cry of the poor the lord hears the cry of the poor blessed be the lord Proclaim your greatness, O God, your praise ever in our mouth, every face brightened in your light, for you hear the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life Alleluia 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 Gospel according to John. 
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> what was it that drove and enabled those apostles, as we heard in today's first reading, to continue their mission of spreading the good news, even though they knew that they could be arrested? Well, we can probably give a number of different reasons. But I think ultimately why they did this, why they kept preaching, despite all odds, imprisonment, beatings, ultimately death itself, why was it? I think it was because of the fact that they had experienced Christ's saving and transforming love. And they were continually being raised up to a newer and a fuller life in Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why they did it. They knew that Christ loved them. They knew that God loved them. And likewise, if we know and experience Christ's saving love and allow ourselves to be open to the Holy Spirit, it's hard to turn away. If we're open to Christ's love, it's hard to turn away. Really. Who could turn away from a God who loves us so much? Indeed, our gospel today includes one of Jesus' best known and best loved sayings. John 3, verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. Now this is more than a catchphrase uh, to be held up on a poster for the TV cameras uh, in a sporting event. These words of Jesus really are the sum and the summary of our whole salvation history, that God so loved the world. So, why did the Son come? Because God is angry? Because God wants to lord it over us? Because God needs something? No. God comes purely out of love. That's it. And God comes purely out of love. And our God's desire is for all of us not to die, but to flourish. I think this is really a very Franciscan point of view. You know, for centuries, great Franciscan theologians like St. Bonaventure or John Duns Scotus, taught that even if humankind had not sinned, 
the incarnation would have happened anyway. God would have come to be with us and share our lives because of love. That's it. He didn't have to have an excuse. He would have come because of his love. Notice what St. John says today in the Gospel. He uses the phrase, gave his only son. I think that's a way of emphasizing this completely gratuitous nature of God's offer of eternal life out of love. For God so loved the world. And so, my brothers and sisters, the more that we are open to Christ's love and the Holy Spirit, we will find our faith growing stronger every day. So that, as St. John told us today, our works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Lord give you peace. And now with confidence, let us bring together all of our prayers and our needs. For the church, that we may offer an uncompromising witness to Christ by being united in mind and spirit as we worship, study, and serve the needs of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that Christ's gift of peace may settle in the hearts of all the human family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all working to end the pandemic, that God inspire and give insight to all who are caring for the sick, developing treatments, or researching vaccines. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, particularly those with COVID-19, for the dying and the grieving, and for those who have died this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear and grant everything that is truly good for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet, more gloriously when Christ our Passover has 
been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Robert, our bishop, with John, his assistant, with all the clergy and religious, and with all who serve the people of God. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis and St. Clair, with St. Louis the King, with St. Peter and Paul, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us share Christ's peace. God bless you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 
Join me now in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Graciously be, be, be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm really happy that you're able to be with us today, and I invite you to uh, take part in Mass on next Wednesday at the same time at 12 noon uh, here at Sarah Center. And as we sang today after communion, uh, sacred the land, sacred one another, sacred all creation, 
Today, of course, is uh, annual Earth Day, where we remember and our planet and our need to take care of God's resources. It's such a beautiful day today. This will be a wonderful day for us to go outside and to look at the beauty of nature and to give thanks for the beauty and also to ask God's grace and strength for us to take those necessary steps to take care of oh, the environment, to take care of what God has given to each one of us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for, for the, the sun, the, the bringer, bringer of day. He carries the light of the Lord in his praise. The moon and the stars who light up the way unto your cross. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the wind that blows through the trees, the sea's mighty storms, the gentlest breeze. They blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord.